Hello my virtual friends, my name is Catherine, also known as Miss Blue, and welcome to Inside the Void. This is a game where we have to explore an alien planet where these structures have suddenly appeared. And our, sh our job is to go down and investigate why, along with all the other ships that have gone missing down there. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Start. Let's see. So I saw this game on Itch.io and it looked pretty cool. And it's quite a popular one from what I saw. But anyway, incoming message. Yes. Or do I have to click? Ah, yes. We have sighted alien structures on a remote planet. In our own alien looking uh, flying saucer there, as you can see here. Several of our observation craft have been sent to investigate the structures, but all communications has been lost. We need you to investigate the planet and search for our lost operatives. We have relayed the coordinates to your craft. Good luck. Okie dokie then, so that's our job. We've got to get down there and find out why they're not answering us. Ooh. For some reason I just saw where they look like the Ministry of Sound logo, but never mind. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, open me walk around. Ooh. Very pastel colored our lovely spaceship is. Hmm. Ah yes. There's that one. That big uh, blue thing there. That's what I thought it looked like. it. Just for a split second and that was it. Right then. So apparently we control the ship with our mind because there's nothing else out here to look at. Right then, I suppose. Out we go. Which one's the door? There's a lot of rooms here, but... Ah, this one I imagine. Ah yes, here we go. Ooh. It's very pretty looking, this game. Let's see. Right, we have... So we have removing your general controls with sad and jump with space bar. And probably interact with E, I imagine, and sprinting with sprint, obviously. Because there's a sprint button a shift, obviously. No matter. Hello, literal alien thing. E. Entry log one. We have discovered numerous alien structures on this planet. Awesome. We will begin to conduct experiments to determine their operation and origin. Great, okay. So I imagine the structures are these spinning things that we can see around here, the green ones specifically. They seem to be the things that are causing all the trouble. Let's see, what about this guy? We initially thought that the structures were completely inoperative, but after being transported inside one, we discovered something fascinating. Really? The structures contain ne a nearly endless void. The purpose and function of the void remains a mystery. Oh. Should we really be going near one that's got the equivalent to a black hole inside them, kind of? Mm, oh, jeez. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly. Oh, jeez. This. Oh, I can see straight through the floor. For a second, I thought they were like dormant robots or something like that. That's what they kind of looked like. No idea though, but there's a little module over there. A little kitten. Sorry, my cat's coming to bother me. <clears throat> anyway, what's this say? We have attempted to relay our findings back to Command HQ, but the structure seems to be blocking our signal. Great. Oh, there's another one over there. We should probably follow the path of the thing at this point, because if we stray too far, we may or, or may not get lost in this weird endless, endless void, in fact. Exactly that. We have identified that each void contains a center core. Can't go. Stop it. Just playing with my controller, sorry. Leave it alone, honestly. We have identified that each void contains a center core, yes. Reaching the core can provide access into the purpose of the void. Okie dokie. Right, where's the other one? Oh, that one, I guess, is the correct one. More wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. Oh, jeez. A spiky eye flower of death, apparently, shall come after us. Right then, that was one. So are there any more lurking about the place? Let's get higher and see. Were we always this far? Apparently so, okay. Can't go, stop it. I hear you doing that. Your thread's over there, go play with it. Honestly, anyway. Now enough distractions aside, let's see. How many have we got? That one there, so that's one, two, three. I imagine that one way in the distance. Since that one's close, let's go explore the Minister of Sound logo over there and see what secrets it holds. Probably more very much psychedelic looking underworlds. The upside down pretty much, that's where we're going. This is Stranger Things, the Alien prequel. This is season 37 when we all colonized space in like 2095 or something like that. Could you imagine though? Jeez. Stranger Things is a great show, I really like that thing. Can't wait for season two, that'll come out eventually. They've had trailers and things going out. I haven't had the chance to watch them just yet. What are you doing, you task cast? I would show you, but she's just rolling around and being weird. You know how cats get these weird faces where they're like just jumping around and being crazy. 
That's what she's doing right now. But no matter, anyway. We're playing a game. I'm looking at my cat and thinking of my precious Xbox cable, which she keeps having to go at. Sometimes, even though our thread's literally just over there, she can have a play with, but never mind. Because that one moves, therefore it's better, isn't it, kitten? Never mind, anyway. Right. Now we are staring at the cogs of the universe, apparently. And the string, maybe. Right. I thought I saw a pink thing over there. Never mind. I did see one over here, though. It looks like a little cupcake in the distance. Just one little note of joy in this weirdness that surrounds me. Hello. Log five. Our attempts to reach the core have been unsuccessful. Well, we're actually going in order. Look at us. All right. The void seems to contain an auto defense mechanism that instantly transports us to the out as a and conceals the structure for a period of time. We may need to conduct materials tests to see if we can circumvent the defense mechanism. There's probably a reason why it's so well defended and not wanting to be disturbed. Probably something bad, I imagine. This looks like a maze. Cares probably need to be taken here, I imagine. This could literally just be a simple circle maze and I've just gone right past the entrance. Slash exit. Does seem like the, yeah, it's just, that's exactly the case. Oh, it was, okay, hello. Our material tests have revealed something quite interesting. The structures have survived some sort of intense blast. Uh oh. Wherever the ba blast was, the void inside the structures were completely ineffective. Unaffected. We're still working on finding a way to circumvent the core defense mechanism. Oh, aha. Here's the center thing again. Back to the normal space. Wibbly wobbly. Oh no, it's one of those things from Star Wars I never remember the name of. Sarlacc, yeah, that thing. That seems like what it was. Or was it, yeah, yeah, exactly that. Okay then, where's the next one? Where's my ship, in fact? I keep losing, okay, let's go up the mountain and we can have a better viewpoint of everything to actually see where we're going. There's, there's no evil spacemen out here just yet that we can see. Hmm, there's the other one. Where are the triangles in my spaceship? Oh, there it is, I see it there. Then the, I thought it was part of the structure for a minute, like, oh, so there's a house, but nope, it's mine. Right then, so, onwards and downwards, over to the third one, over yonder way, with the blue moon and the, well, red, red, yeah, reddish moon as well, and the purple sky, ahead of us and above us. So let's see. This is quite cool so far, nice atmosphere. Could have been a bit more floaty as a space game because you feel quite rest restricted. Although then again, there are heavier gravities on different planets. That makes sense. Never mind anyway. Just a small nitpick, I guess, but no matter. Anyway, another note. Let's have a read, shall we? Entry log seven. We managed to identify the cause of the blast. Good. The materials we have researched have been traced to an area of space that has succumbed to the, the might of a supernova. Oh. So a supernova created these things, apparently. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> How interesting. So are these like wor like wormholes in time and space? We're gonna go like really interstellar interstellar levels of science here. Perhaps. Well, it's quite foreboding, isn't it? Especially between those two spikes over there. It's like the two towers or something like that. And there's Mount Doom just a bit beyond. Or were they like, yeah, they were like miles away from each other, weren't they? Can't recall, I haven't watched the movies in a while. Or indeed read the books, but still. We're on our way there. Looks a bit evil, but the big old hedgehog mountain over there. Hardly much better by the looks of it. But still, what's going on over there with you guys? When everything else is being quite empty and alone out here. But still, no cries of panic and anger from the logs, which are then again, they're not recorded, so maybe should be too horrifying if they are stuck and terrified of, of these things. You know that always happens when like in alien movies, they're, they're all like, oh, it's all fine, we're doing research and shit, and then suddenly, oh god, ah, what is that thing? Oh, it's killing us, oh god. But with more passion and vigor, of course, because they're getting killed. Oh, sheesh. Endless hallways. Or mirror-like always, and jeez, don't, all, don't look down. We've finally been able to breach the core defense mechanism. Okay, that happened, good for you guys. What we found was remarkable. A network filled with vast quantities of data, unlike anything we've seen before. Good. What was that? I saw that game. 
Don't you think I didn't see that? There's demons in these halls, lads. You gotta be careful. Could be anywhere. Around any different corner. Maybe right behind us. No, not quite. Alright, there's the exit, I guess. What does this one say? We are now working to uncover what is contained inside the core's data. Good. Are we doing anything specific with that? We are being especially cautious now that we've breached the core. Good, at least you're not being foolhardy in this whole endeavor. Good for you guys. There's a crack in the floor. I feel like I'm not even moving closer towards it when you look down, but the only way to tell is what's either side of your vision. Right then. Let's leave, I guess. Just a black spot there. Oh, it's that thing again. Which we, we, I, oh god, there's two of them. Uh, they just sliced and diced me. I forgot about those things. Right then. So that's uh, three of them looked at. Jeez, those things are creepy, aren't they? Right. Where do we go now? Let's go in the hedgehog and see. Might be something nearby. Unless we just go back to the ship. Because there was the triangle one, but I thought that was kind of... Like that green colour sort of looked part of the actual landscape of the whole thing. Not sure though, right, let's see. Where to go next? Oh. <laughs> that wind chime over there looks promising. Let's head down that way and see what's going on. This game's really interesting so far. I really like it. Well, so far, it might, near the, it might end in that big triangle pyramid of death and illuminatiness. I don't know. But still, it's very cool. I like the sort of mystery behind it, like we could quickly understand what was going on and why we're here. And then like the whole mystery of what they were doing is built up slowly as you read all the logs. Very good so far. Anyway, so let's get to the wind chime and see what horrors and spike monsters lay there. The sharp, the sharp flowers, those guys. They seem, well not friendly, but hardly ten times that much evil either, but... I don't know, is there like something dark in there like running around as well? Unless it's just like the weird reflection of light as those triangles move around, I'm not sure. Either way, here we are. Let's go inside, nothing evil awaits in here. No dollhouse is worth the fun like that was just before. Perhaps, hopefully, yeesh. I think it's foreboding and scary. We made another miraculous discovery. Oh good! The data contains life. An entire civilization has been preserved inside each structure. It may be possible to convert the data into physical form. Oh. Oh, why did you do? Why did you do that? They like being data. Why did you, why didn't you just leave them alone? Right then. Oh, we're in a grassy field now. How lovely. Sheesh, if this game's not uh, making any sense, at least it's pretty. Looks lovely. Certainly unique in its designs as well, that can be said of it too. Right, final two nodes? Or is there more to this? We believe that the structures were originally intended to protect civilizations from a supernova. Oh, okay. I, I get it, that makes sense. So, what's the problem with that then? Is that something bad or the things inside are evil and were made into data by something else? Something went terribly wrong. Care to elaborate? Our attempts to convert the data into physical form somehow caused the data to be corrupted. Right. Great. So we've got the equivalent of a corrupted file on our hands that may turn to life. Have a physical form and possibly kill us all. Is that what this is gonna do? Is this gonna fall on me? No, but that thing did. Okay, great. Right then, now that that one's been taken care of, where to next game? Let's climb another mountain and see. I thought it was on that green thing over there. That's just a little white spot. Never mind, anyway. This you always seem to know where to go in this game without actually seeing it for Im immediately. Right then, where's our ship and everything else? Where are we on the case of the landscape? Ah, that way. And there's the triangle, so... Yeah, I think that's the right way to go, so let's go that way. Right then, so I think consensus here is that they tried to make them real and then they destroyed them in some horrifying fashion. 
That seems to be what's going on at this point. Not 100% sure, but still. Let's see. When we get to the triangle base, or that thing as well. That's also a possibility. Let's see what's going on over there. I think, well, one thing I'm thinking actually is like by the time I figure out what the truth is, they've already like stolen my ship and taken it away. But I just see it there in the distance and the door's probably just left open. I have no idea. Let's see when we go over to the weird like carrot top or umbrella maybe. That thing. All the sharp crystal spikes. Cause look, that's probably what the corrupt data things are. They're the spiky flowers. That exactly might be it. I think there's probably that this one and then the triangles and then that's it. Possibly. I'm not sure. But still we're making our way over there. Nothing foreboding about this in any fashion. No sorry. Let's have a seat, why don't we? Alright then, give me the wibbly wobbly, go! Bring me to the horrible ice cream land of weirdness and death. Or indeed just the upside down, that's also fine. With infinite landscapes, these are always fun to explore. So then, have you all been killed? Is that why you've sent these things here? Since the last day of corruption, strange things have started happening. Like what? We've had sightings of malformed entities throughout the voids. Oh, really? Who would have ever guessed? Like the ones I've been seeing running around these places on occasions? Those guys, they're always fun. They like to come at us and throw us back into reality. They don't seem to kill us just yet, I'm not sure. Many of the corrupted entities we've encountered are hostile. They have suffered mass casualties. Oh. We're evacuating all personnel from this planet. But something happened before you could do that thing. Didn't it? Perhaps so. Right then, I suppose I just get back to the big one up there. And hope it doesn't fall on us like that, like it just did there. Yeesh. Alright then, that one's gone. Up next, we have the triangle disco party over that, over that way. Maybe? Or... Where? It's hard to keep track of where you are half the time because everything just goes away. But there! Another one. I thought there was something turning on top, like a coin spinning over there, but apparently not. Hello! Our attempts to leave the planet have been thwarted. Oh no! One of our craft has been shot down by a new structure that appeared in the sky. We're evaluating our options. What? Sky? Where? You don't suppose it's the moon, do you? That thing over there. That'd be strange, wouldn't it? Hmm. Right, so where's the next one then? Can't see it anywhere. Do I head back to my ship? I kind of know what went down, so... Can we leave now? Maybe? I don't know. Right then. There's the strange shoal of fish triangles. What secrets do you hold? What horrors and truths do you keep within you? Let's find out, wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly. Right. Oh. We're in a 90s programming game, apparently. Right then. Hello. You've actually been able to keep writing notes. You're not all quite dead just yet. There are only a few of us left now. Oh, that's why. There may be a way to enter the sky structure and disable it. If it's anything like the other structures, we can be transported inside. This may be my final entry. Oh, I don't see another one around here, so that may be the case. Right then, so I suppose we follow his path and hopefully take care of all the things. There's no evil things out here that are ready to come spike us to death. Once again. Not just yet. They're gonna come down these uh, ethereal lifts and tell us all about it. Oh Jesus, weird. Oh God, I fell. Oh, did I do bad game? Or am I back out here? I'm back out here, it's all fine. We're in reality, nothing's bad or all good. Right, uh, to the ship or do we find something else to look at? Well, I suppose I actually look for the biggest thing that's turning and that green color. We can see that's not the moon over there because that's what I originally thought it was, but apparently not, as it seems. Unless it is, I don't know. That'd be a cool twister that the moon is like the whole the planet's defense mechanism. I'm not sure. All right, let's go back to our ship, see if anything promising is led up the, is led his hat up there. If we can't leave just yet, I'll have to look for something else. 
I'll find a good mountain to climb and we can see if anything big and terrifying. Oh, our ship's over there. Over there. Whoops. Never mind. We'll see from there. We'll get a clear enough angle. So let's go back to our ship and see. Oh, just realized the problem. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I thought we couldn't get in for a second, but this isn't a leg. This is just our ramp. So here we go. Can we please leave? Can we flee? We're all good to go. E, use the seat. Nope. Okay, great. Right, so where is the next one then? Because I didn't see it on the way here. Like, at all. There's no more nodes to guide us, I don't think. Unless those are the same ones. Perhaps so. I could have lost the path that they were sending me on by doing this. Does seem likely. If this, this is still entry log one, then... Yep, okay. Hmm. Because where would it be then? Because I... We've lost all that. Okay, let's go back along where we thought we were going. And then see from there. Because I couldn't see anything on the way here. So therefore, probably it would be backwards. Probably. As we came around this way, so it was about here we were sit we were standing at. So back this way, I guess. Let's keep looking, but I don't see anything, so I'll join you when I find something. Oh hello, I think we found something new that looks like their crashed ship. Over there, so that, that the thing that shot them down has got to be nearby. The fact that it's in the direct glare of the moon over here. Doesn't bode hugely well, but let's see anyway. So hopefully the structure is nearby here. Perhaps. We get in at all? Oh, there's probably a thing around back. Any more nodes in here or remnants of you guys? Maybe? Perhaps? No? Hmm. I still don't see the structure anywhere. Have I gotten that lost? This is just sort of like an extra tidbit, I guess. Because all, all the mirrors are tinted, in fact, so we can't get in anywhere. Let's just try and look in, at least. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Anything to be seen here? Or just all death? Just all death. Perfect. So if it fell here, then there must be something nearby that caused it to crash, obviously. But where is the question? Oh, where? Apart from my suspicions of it being the moon, that's the only thing. Or so, crash from down there to here, so... Probably nothing on where I'm going, but still. The only other, like, path, quote-unquote, that there is at this point. Let's see. Anything new out here? That's the question. Okay, I think I've actually found something at long last, because, like... The... If I kept going towards that, the... Map got very much more barren as you kept walking, so I assumed that that was just heading towards the wall of the air, like the sort of box of this whole game. But never mind. Ship's there. Big old pyramid is just over there. Over yonder way, and I think that is what we're supposed to be doing. And I've just noticed right now, it's a spinning. So there is where we were supposed to be going after like 10 minutes of wandering. Here we go. Towards our actual goal. It's over there. That'll be the thing that shot down the ship, which we saw just a moment ago, or at least forever ago for me. For you guys, who even knows? Because who, know, who knows how much of this is going to edit out at this point. Uh, have fun, future me, is all I can say. Anyway, let's just carry on. I'm sure we'll get there. I haven't been running this whole time, that's why. There we go. Speed is our definite key at this point. Let's just get there. Get to the ship. Or the pyramid, in fact. See what's what, and if anything bad is what is up, then I suppose we'll just have to go and be killed like the rest of them. That seems to be it, and aha! A note! At last! I haven't seen you in forever. Come to me and see. Devour your knowledge upon me, or whatever the correct word is, because that's certainly not it. Hello, what, what information do you have? Or oh, what terror? Oh, entry log seven. Oh, you're, you're here of all places. Oh, well then, apparently I'm stupider than I once thought I was. Oh good, never mind, anyway. We're here now, it's all that matters. I didn't just end the episode there, because I couldn't find it, but here we go. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly. What's inside the pyramid? More funky pyramids, oh gosh. Right, no nodes in this barren desert, so let's just head straight towards it, I guess. This is where we turn it off. No spike flowers out here. 
Just us and the pyramid. Just us and the pyramid. Exactly that. All right then. Good. This probably isn't even the last one either. There's probably like two or three more, I guess. And I'm just being very stupid. But no matter. I knew it. It was the Illuminati pyramid. My God. And oh. Oh boy. Oh, it's pretty when it's dark. All right then. Right, so. Evil Eye of Evilness is in the sky, right above our ship. Of course it is. And there's lots, there's three things leading up to it. Therefore we must destroy them, that's exactly it, all right. Let's run over this way, take care of this one. And see what happens, that's just gonna explode. It might just turn into a supernova actually, and just consume us all maybe. If it gets powerful enough, I suppose. I don't know, they stop any other planets from coming, planets? people to coming to this planet so therefore it's a good thing because the planet won't exist anymore if exactly that's what we're thinking and if, um, if I'm doing the right thing that's the question as well if this there is actually anything over this little horizon sending out those dots is there I don't know oh dear that's a cavern don't fall down there even though there's zero fall damage in this game which is good because I would have died like 70 times by now just leaping off tall cliffs and breaking my ankles, shattering them into little pieces of dust, and doing well in general. Anyway, what's over the horizon? Is it anything we need? It's, it's, it, it's, it's fuck all, all right, I think, Chris. Let's just head back to our ship and run away before we get shot down. That'd be the best idea. We can't stop this thing, never could, never have done, never will do. Let's just get on our ship and run away. Best thing for it, because I didn't see anything back there that could turn this thing off or slash destroy, whatever. Those things, they're not there, so let's just go. Hurry, run away, fast as possible. Go, go. There she is, our beloved ship. So sorry, extra crew who got just destroyed here. So sorry to hear that, or we're just gonna go now, or I am at least. Lone commander on this barren ship of barrenness. Just go, go, hurry. Can't stay cheerful forever, we gotta go, we gotta go. Inside we run. Good, go, 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 go. Leap over our desk, onto the chair, go. Speed away, fast as we can, go. Hopefully we make it, because the other one certainly didn't. Just gently cruising through space. Oh no, we were going towards it, okay. Aha, no, but we're, oh no, we're stuck inside the void. <gasps> oh no, there's the other ships that weren't shot down. Oh, very cool game, I very much liked it. So, you're very much welcome for playing 3D Methods. It was a great little game, I really, really enjoyed it. I like the whole mystery behind it all, then we suddenly get there and find out. <gasps> we are inside the void and everything makes sense. Oh, the horror, the grandioseness, ah. But no matter, that'll do it for this episode. You can find Inside the Void on Itch.io. Link will be in the description. As always, it's a name your own price type deal. So, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you all so kindly for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. See you later.